Hold on, I got a text message. I just want to talk to you. Oh, my fiance. Hold on one second. Love you so much. Dang type of much. Okay. Well, she wants to hear my voice. So perhaps I should make a video about how we met. <laughs> so, me and Raylene, we met at karate, ironically enough. Uh, my dad at that time had a karate class that was literally right across from where she was living and still is living. So I'm not going to tell you where it is. Um, but her brother was doing karate, and my dad asked me to go and try and recruit other kids who were just sitting there watching their siblings do karate. And um, there was Raylene, just sitting there smiling at me. And I walked over. And as soon as I opened up my mouth to try and say something, Enemy, 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 She did that for three years. Couldn't get a single word in, and if I did, it was because she was trying to breathe. You know, if you talk too much, you can't breathe as much. I'm just saying. But she did that for three years, just talking and talking and talking and talking and talking about anime, Korean dramas, mangas, all this crazy stuff. And finally, I was just like, all right, this girl's nuts. And I left. I think I didn't go to karate there anymore. Came back a year later, hoping that maybe she was gone since all the good stuff had left, and she was there doing karate. And as soon as I showed up, she stopped doing karate, just started talking and talking and talking and talking and talking and talking and talking. So I quit again for about a year, and I was going through a breakup and stuff, so I just didn't want all this drama, and it was awkward and weird. And uh, one day I just got really frustrated with God, and I said, God, you tell me I need to love other people. How am I supposed to do that if you won't give me an example of how to love? Send somebody my way that can show me how to love like you love. And uh, the phone rang. This phone. Hello? 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 Hi. Who is this? This is Raylene. Who? From karate. Oh, hi. What's up? I'm having a birthday party tomorrow at Castle Park with me and some friends, which was actually just like one person. And I was wondering if you wanted to come. And of course, since I was single that time and I had no hope of falling in love, and I just prayed and, and even rubbed the seal at Seal Beach, rubbed him right on the nose, wishing for someone I could love. Okay, sure. And the next day, we went to Castle Park and confessed our affections for each other because I actually did have a little, little bit of a crush on her. <clears throat> on the carousel at Castle Park. And the next day, I bought her a really cheesy ring and uh, literally read uh, <clears throat> the lines from <clears throat> Thriller. <clears throat> you know I like you, don't you? Yeah. I hope you know I like you. The way you like me, and you know, it was different than that because it's not actually how Michael said it, but you know, I I, I, I went with Michael because Michael's obviously a safe way to go. And sure enough, I mean, I got the girl, she said yes, and we were boyfriend and girlfriend like that. I mean, I guess three years of talking will do that for you. And uh, I was in denial for about a year, but after that, and we fixed everything, um, things really started going good, and we're pretty happy with each other. Yes, I think I think she's happy with me. I'm happy with her. I mean, she's she's cute and everything. And, oh, still recording. Um, but uh, you know, I gotta say, if I had to pick one favorite thing about Raylene, it would be her heart. You know, a lot of guys they want to have a smoking hot chick, and they want to have one with a lot of brains. Because you know what, I got it all, and I got a huge heart on top of it. Like I can sometimes be the biggest selfishest jerk because I'm just so socially inept sometimes. But somehow she still loves me. And she definitely was an answer to my prayer to God. Because every time I see her, she shows God's love. Always always forgiving. Always loving me. Unconditional love. That's what she has.
most of the time. I'd say about 99.7% of the time. That's a fact. And uh, it's, it's just it's beautiful because I don't have a heart like that. I'm, I'm impatient with people. I want things done now. I don't want to do certain things. Me, 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 me. And she just goes, James, shut the hell up. So she's kind of perfect for me. And uh, who, who, could, who could keep talking after you get just an amazing kiss from a wonderful woman who loves you? I mean, any smart man wouldn't. I'm just saying. But, um, I mean, that's, that's kind of a brief synopsis of how I met uh, my favorite thing about her. Um, let's see. She has a nickname. It's Strawberry. She's going to hate me for telling you this, but I am going to tell this story. So when Raylene and I first got together, they were selling strawberry soda at the store. Like that really good flaunt of strawberry soda in the can. And um, I was in love with that crap. Like big time in love with that crap. And I drank like three cans or something of it. And then of course we went to her room to... And you know what teenagers do. And uh, that was when we didn't have as much self-control. We... we so we went into her room. <laughs> we went into her room and, you know, doing, doing whatever teenagers do. And um, I burped. In her mouth. And uh, she leaned back and looked at me. And I went, oh, crap, it's over now. I totally destroyed it. My life is done. I'm going to get so roasted right now. And she just sat there, looked at me, and she said... That tastes like strawberry. And so now her nickname is Strawberry because that way I can put it on her like it's her fault, even though it's really my fault. I'm going to get killed for saying this story, but I had to say it because this is YouTube and everybody will watch it and she'll hate me for it. So it's kind of fun. But, um, I got to say, she's just... She is the one for me. She's just incredible. She loves like no one else loves. She's more beautiful than I could ask for. I mean, I got a weakness for Mexicans anyway. And then she's like my Mexican, so makes it my favorite, though. <laughs> but um, she's beautiful. She's got a great heart. Her eyes are to die for. Don't look at those eyes. They're my eyes. Um, she's great with children. She probably has to be to be with me. I'm just saying. She's really good at helping me figure things out socially because I'm socially awkward and eccentric and stuff. But um, I have to say she's definitely the love of my life. Um, and now she has something that she can listen to the next time she wants to listen to my voice and I can't pick up the phone because I'm busy writing a script or doing homework or something. This is for her, and now all of you have seen this, and you can tease her about it. I love you guys, and I especially love my fiance, Raylene Villa. Mwah! I do like that because I was on camera.